My friends, this is the oath of office of recently appointed Councilor Honorable Lisa Maravillas Cadas to be witnessed no less by her most loving husband, our Mayor Honorable Joseph Cadas and Sister Darlene and Hans Manino, myself and Dr. Manny Gonzalez and of course by our friends from the media. Okay. So Lisa, and you go, please raise your right hand and uh, repeat after me and fill the, fill the blanks later on. So, I... I, Lisa Maravillas Cagas of yes. Roma Street, San Antonio, Diego City. Having been appointed to the position of city councilor. Having been appointed to the position, position of city councilor. Hereby solemnly swear. Hereby solemnly swear. That I will faithfully discharge to the best of my ability. That I will faithfully discharge to the best of my ability. The duties of my present position. The duties of my present position. And of all others. And of all others. That I may hereafter, hereafter hold. That I may hereafter hold. Under the Republic of the Philippines. Under the Republic of the Philippines. That I will bear true faith. That I will bear true faith. And allegiance, and to, allegiance the same. to the same. That I will obey the laws. That I will obey the laws. Legal orders. Legal orders. And decrees. And decrees. Promulgated by the duly constituted authorities. Created by the duly constituted authorities. Of the Republic of the Philippines. Of the Republic of the Philippines. And that I impose this obligation. That I impose, impose this obligation upon myself voluntarily. Upon myself voluntarily. Without mental reservation. Without mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> What are your priorities? Should you be elected uh, as city council? First, number one is education. You know, so I think and namely uh, program na no one left behind. So katulong mga sujante number one thing itawag nato mga pagkulangan sa financial. No, so dapat ato misportahan or dagat na nato o dapo patagad. Kami na katulong dili ko pa iskola kung sa financial status na dili pa sa college or high school and elementary also, you know. So aside sa education, we also have the digital na sa turismo. Kana mas ah anyway three months kapin ang ako ang ma trabaho pa kay after that election naman, no? Three months. Yeah yeah. Until one. The remaining. Portion of the term will be up to June 30. We will lose. We have until June 30. Uh, with that, that would be the, the three month the three month period. So you have to call it good uh, training. No? But once you will be elected, that, that would be the start of the most demanding uh, work and arranging your priorities. Said helping those students. Even we have free education for 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 elementary and high school. Yet there are still families who cannot afford for stipends and other and other uh, students to come out there and keep us And of course, uh, since we are not at tourism as a council, no? uh, of course, with a heart and passion for 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 boosting the tourism industry in our locality, maybe in Sakay. Yes, makatuntok ko ana. Anyway, um, so education, there are different kuaman, kanang curriculum sa education, no? So, kana familiar kay na ko na kay, since 22 years na ko na kundo sa Mississippi National High School. So, na ay mga special program in arts, special program in sports, no? Yung, um, yung network section, or science, mostly katong mga bright students, no? Uh, then we also have the tech book. So mao na as maingani ko mas matuto ko sa education na community. Actually, uh, as a whole, we're campaigning for uh, eight zero. And since uh, most of your questions will be will be addressed and will be initiated, programs that will be initiated in our in my second term, 
and the first term of Pokemon. So we, we will align with the uh, first with the programs, the priorities of the provincial government, especially we coordinate uh, on tourism, particularly because uh, Digo City is involved with a great landscape. Uh, very, you know, sa, sa turismo, mabaliga din na to. We, we have the uh, Vigo City, Nasa yung Murag, Baguio, Binato na yung Kapatagan, yung nabuta yung Murag, Murakay, ito itong na ang balas, o na ang Aplaya, ang Dawis. Uh, now, ang amuang, o ang amuang, ang amuang grupo, it's our goal to make Vigo City a city of choice to live, work, and visit. Kanalandaan ng goal, dagang kahit ang mga programs, no? matagusas sa mga konsyal na ito, for sure, magpupot na sila. Uh, whatever priorities na nag-set sa grupo, that will be the priority legislations of every chairperson and members sa mga respective committees ng, to address uh, those concerns and issues so that we can, we can achieve our goal to meet the city and city choice. So example, uh, on Na na ko, I give the direction. Then again, we will meet with the, the seven city council for our second term executive legislative agenda. We will uh, the executive agenda will be aligned with, with the agenda of the legislative. But again, uh, it's the executive that sets the tone for development. It's the executive that will uh, lay down what will be the direction for development that we're giving to. And leave it. So, uh, the, the vice mayor and the seven city, uh, and the incoming eight city council, of course, I am expecting their full support to those directions for development and changes for, for the better. Changes for the better.